Hi, this is Needlepointers.com and today I would like to show you how to make these braided ribbon barrettes. So what you need for this project is um, a two bar barrette like this one. You need um, two colors of 1 8 inch ribbon which is cut, these are cut to 36 inch long and you can use any colors that you desire. Um, I'm going to use this purple and blue and if you want to put beads on the end after you're finished, you can have some beads of any kind that you would like to put onto the barrette. So to start this project, what you want to do is take your two ribbons together and fold them in half so you can get to get where the center is of the ribbons. And then you're going to start on the end that is not where, th where the hook is. Um, you don't want to start on this end because then if you wanted your little uh, strands will be coming off this end and that would be kind of uh, funny when you put it into your, hair, into, the girl, into your hair. So I just put the two, pe uh, two ribbons layered on top of each other, one on top of the other, it doesn't matter which one's on top, and behind this hook part of the bread, so you can see. So we're going to start with either the left or the right side, it doesn't matter which, but you always have to continue to use the same side first. We're going to start braiding, and I will put, sometimes it's a pain to get it through, put it through, and I'm holding up here to make sure it stays in place. Now, one is on top of the other, so you want to make sure you get it the right way. And right now, like the bottom, the the bottom one for me is this is the purple, and then the blue is on top. And you don't want it to be twisted. You want to make sure it's not twisted because you don't want to end up with the wrong color on the top so that you can get the alternating color look. So now I'm holding the, this one in and I will take the other side and stick these through. So there's my first crossover. So again, I'm going to take the left side. This time, the purple one should show up on top, should be on top if, if it's flat and not twisted. So you can see the purple is now on top and underneath it's not twisted at all either. So now I'm going to do the right side. So now I got blue and then the purple. Do it a few more times here. Oop, see now I, <laughs> when I pulled it, the purple's on top. That means it's twisted in the back. So once you lay it flat, you'll be fine. <clears throat> so 
So you'll continue doing this all the way down the barrette, making sure it's level. And I usually push it up to make sure I'm filling in the whole barrette and that it's you know nice and filled in. So I'll come back when I'm all finished this. Hi, I'm back. Um, so I've braided the whole barrette, and as I went along, I pushed I pushed the braids up a little bit to make them tight, so because we want to make sure you fill the whole barrette. So now I'm at the very end, so I want to show you how to end it. So what I usually do is I wrap the two around, one side around, and put it, slide it into the barrette. And then I'll take the other side and wrap it, also wrap it around. And I'm sliding it under the barrette. So now I have both. So then turn the barrette over. And what we want to do is tie a knot. I have to bring one of them out. I want the knot to be on the inside. So I got one knot in there. I'm going to double knot it. It doesn't come undone. You can these these wrapped around the back. Usually, a lot of times I try to keep them around the front, so you can see on this one I have two lines. It depends on how you want it to look, because in this one it's not the same on the top and the bottom. But in this one, you know, you you might want them to be around the back. But there it is. So there's your barrette. It's all finished. But um, if you want to put the beads on, all you have to do is uh, thread some beads up here and, and tie one or two, a few knots, to, to make sure they stay on. Um, these have really big holes. You probably want to find beads with smaller holes um, so you don't have to tie so many knots. So if you're going to leave it without knots, then the last thing, you even with the knots, you should uh, cut the ribbon on an angle so that it will help it to keep from fraying. The other thing you can do is heat seal the ends of the ribbon. Um, and all that means is you can take a, a match or a flame and um, run it along the edge of the ribbon very quickly, like very, very fast, and it will kind of melt the ribbon just a little bit and that will keep it from fraying. So thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, use the comments section to leave us a comment on this video or to suggest a video you would like to see. Find us on Facebook at Needle Pointers and share your picture, pictures of your projects. We would love to see them. Also, visit us at needlepointers.com for lots of other kids' projects, instructions, and supplies.